Hi, this is Lisa Love to Crochet and Knit. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little eyed, it's a funky eyed um, pot potato. So I call them the paws of the potato. So you're going to need some brown yarn, some fiber fill, some red yarn for the mouth, some little eyes with backing. I purchased mine off Amazon. They come in a package like this and you can pick you know a variety of eyes and noses and they have the backings and then you're going to need some cream or white yarn to make the indentations. So um, let's get started. You're going to start with um, you're also going to need a g-hook, a pair of scissors, oops, and a tapestry needle. So let's get started. And I'm going to start with a magic ring. And I'm going to, there's my magic ring. Now I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to put six half double crochets in the magic ring. six half double crochets okay I have my six half double crochets in my magic ring and I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning so I'm just gonna slip stitch I pulled my ring tight to make it easier to complete my circle and I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna put a half double crochet in the same stitch with the chain one space and I'm going to put two half double crochets in each stitch around. And I'll see you at the end of this round. Okay, so I've completed that round. I have two half double crochets in each stitch around. And now I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning. chain one, half double crochet in that same chain one space, and then this row I'm going to put one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochets in the next stitch. So the pattern you're going to repeat around is one half double crochet in one stitch, and then the next two half double crochets all the way around. Okay, and then this round, I put a extra stitch in the last little stitch where you're going to slip stitch just to give it a little bit of extra. You don't want them too big, but you want them big enough to uh, be, you know, be handheld, you know. So I put one there, and then I chain slip stitch together, and then I chained one. And now this round, I am going to do one half double crochet in that same chain one space. And I'm going to put one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And in the th next stitch, I'm going to put two half double crochets. So the next stitch I'm going to do, see now I have this one I count as two. And then this one's one. And then there's next one is one. And this one's got two. So the next round, I'm just, or this round, I'm just going to continue this pattern with one half double crochet in the next two stitches and then two half double crochets in the next stitch. Okay, so I've completed this round and now I'm I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning. And I'm going to chain one. And now I'm just going to do a half double crochet in that same chain one space. And then one half double crochet in each stitch around. And this is going to go on. I'm on my one, two, three, four. This is my fifth round. So I'm going to do this for round five through 14. And then when I get back, I'll have, we'll put the eyes on and do the, ma the mouth before we start closing it up. So for the next from five row five, this row, into row 14, 
we're just going to do the same pattern one half double crochet in each stitch around so this is my 14th row and i still continuing to put one half double crochet in each stitch around and i'm going to finish up here and we'll now is the time that you want to um close up the magic ring and knot it and weave in the ends on the inside before we start to put the stuffing and stuff in it and the face on it so i'm just going to continue to work my half double crochets around until i meet the end of this round Okay, here's my slip stitch to the beginning, and this is my 14th round. And now I'm going to um, place my eyes and my mouth. So with my eyes, I went between the 6th and 7th round. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So in between here. And I'm just going to push in an eye, making sure that the back seam is in the back. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So anywhere in here. And I'm going to stick my hand up here. To push those eyes all the way through. And then I'm going to put this one in over here. And then I'm going to take the backing of the eyes and place it in there. It's just, just squeeze it a little bit. And then this one's a little harder. Just give them a little squeeze. So the eyes are in place and then now I'm going to thread my tapestry needle with the red and I'm going to come down in here where I think the mouth should go in between the eyes you could do pink if you wanted to you can do you can do a smile if you want I'm not going to um, I like the straight mouth. So then I'm just going to turn it inside out and you can see I push the eyes in. And then this, I'm just going to put a little simple knot, um, not too tight, just a simple knot. And then I'm going to snip that ends. And then so the eyes and the mouth are attached. And now I'm gonna stuff it and I'm trying, I try really hard not to overstuff it, but it's, you know, you can make it overstuffed or you can understuff it. I'm going to put some more in. And now I'm just going to continue to keep the stuffing in and I've had my chain one and my slip stitch on so I'm just going to do a half double crochet decrease and so this round I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease and then I'm going to do one half double crochet and I'm going to try to pull it tighter as I can and so here's my decrease and I'm trying to pull it tight and then here's my half double crochet so I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way around holding the stuffing in and continue and I'll see you at the end of this round and I might have to stuff some more okay so I've completed that round and I've done one half double crochet decrease and then one half double crochet in each stitch around 
And so you can see it's made my hole a little bit smaller. And now I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning, pull it tight, chain one. And then now this round, I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease in every stitch. And you just try to pull it as tight as you can. Um, it kind of puts a strain on your hand sometimes if you do it really tight all the time. So I'm just going to continue and it'll tighten this even more. Okay, so you can see I've completed that round and I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning and make it even tighter. And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do a half double crochet decrease in every stitch around. And you just keep pulling it as tight as you can all the way around. Okay, so I decided to put a few more little fiber fill in there and stuff it before I completed that last round. So I did that and then now I'm at the last round and now if you can see, I'm just gonna slip stitch to the beginning and I'm gonna chain one and I'm gonna cut my working yarn. I'm gonna pull up the loop, make it a knot and you can see there's just a slight hole. So I'm going to take my tapestry needle and I'm going to thread that brown yarn and I'm just going to weave in all around that to tighten that to close it. It's not huge so it's not like it's a big deal. But I'm just going to give it a little tight tug and a little pull. And then I'm going to place a little knot in here to, to make sure that my working yarn doesn't get um, untangled or doesn't come undone. So now I'm just going to weave in my ends. So you'll be able to, um, to hide them. And then I'm going to snip that and then... I got to get some cream yarn. Okay, so my ends are weaved in. That's all set. So my potato is basically done. You could leave it this way if you wanted to, but um, I like to have my details on my items that I make. So um, I'm going to put the indentations in a potato. And you can kind of slightly see them. They're not real strong, but they're you can see some indentation. So basically what I do is I take my tapestry needle that's sort of with the cream because those, those little knots in the potato are like white or yellowish. And I just slide it into my potato and I'll pull it until the end is no longer seen. But don't pull it all the way. And then I take it and I just go in like a little incision. Like so I'll leave a little line of the cream and then now I'm going to pull that white tight and it might don't pull it too tight because it'll pull that out of there so now I'm going to go across to the other side squeeze it and then it'll tighten and you have a little indentation so I'm just going to pull it and I'm going to do another indentation on the back and pull it again. And I pull it. And it's just a slight indentation. And then now I have one on the back. And I'm just going to go again on the top. Just no rhyme or reason, just kind of making little indentations. And then the further away you can get, you can pull them and you can see that they're indent. So, and then I just continue to make indentations until I'm satisfied with as many as I want. 
So, and I just kind of put one up there. So he actually looks like a real potato, a real spud. Just keep pulling. Don't pull too tight. And then that one's just going to go inside because that's an end. You're just going to hide that in there. And there you have made your little spuds throughout your potato. You can pull them as tight or as loose as you want. Just keep at it and he'll look like a potato. So I just fasten off and pull it to where when I'm done. And I just snip it at the surface and it's all weaved in and you don't notice it. And there you have it. You have your positive potato or little spud. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.